Hey, John Miles here, and I'm going to show you today how to set up the new chin rest. And in this case, it also includes the optional carry case. And um, that's uh, if you travel a lot or do shows or have a mobile setup, carry case is a $400 option, and it's quite helpful for that. Now this is a Pelican 1606 and it has five latches. Uh, there's one on the bottom. It, the case itself has wheels, so it is a wheelie. It's about eight, 28 inches by 16 by 12. Um, there are five latches that are uh, opened by pushing in on the button. And uh, also before they open the last latch, you can also see how the carry case includes an extensive handle as well, as well as a handle on each end, and also <coughs> one handle in the middle. <coughs> and you can carry the chin rest like this. So the way it works is, and the carry case comes in a box that's about the same size. 27 inches by 16 inches by 12 inches. And it weighs about 32 pounds, including the chin rest. And uh, so to continue to opening the case, I push in that button, and now all five latches are open. <coughs> and then, uh, well, actually, now they all are. <coughs> Inside there will be a, a packet of documentation such as that, um, a dust cover that's good for keeping the chin rest free of dust, um, an eye occluder which is for uh, covering one eye while you uh, take a picture of the other. You can, if this is a client held eye occluder and you can have them cover one eye to make sure they're not looking around at things while you photograph this eye. And cotton tip applicators, this is for <coughs> lid retraction, <coughs> it looks like this. And that is where you can help show the whole iris by using the lids. Normally the person can show you the entire iris just by tugging gently on the lower lid and raising the eyebrows. But sometimes they need help with the upper eyelid. And so that was the purpose of the cotton tipped applicators. Now the optional uh, selfie monitor comes like this and this attaches to the chin rest and allows the photographer to be taking their own eye picture. That is a $600 option. And uh, otherwise, this from here below is all the five components of the chin rest. And, and it is pretty simple. It's only five components. You can put it together in probably less than a minute. And what I'll do right now is uh, show how it unpacks here. <clears throat> and the way it works first is to take the base out. This is, is the 11 by 14. Other bases are 10 by um, 14, 10 by 12. This one is 11 by 14. And uh, it goes on the top. There's room for other things if necessary. Um, now here I have the uh, top part of the camera support, which is the slider for left to right eye. Then after that, the foam comes out like so. And then you can just set that aside. And the middle layer foam is holding the height adjuster, which you can see here. And that you just lift out like, like this. And this is the part that goes in first. So it goes into the, this side is the photographer's side and the knob goes towards the photographer. And these are all dovetail clamps, Arca Swiss clamps, and they're all 120 millimeters, about five inches, and they need to be flush. 
that's how it is put together is you get them flush on each end and after that it can be tightened up like so. <clears throat> so there isn't really uh, any question about how to put this together. It just needs to be flush on both ends and then tightened. <clears throat> the second, this is the middle layer of foam and it comes out. And in the bottom, you, know, you can see here the chin rest itself along with the focusing track. So the focusing track is on a, a central piece of uh, foam, but I normally will take out the chin rest first. And this is the chin rest here. And of course it goes into the other base down here, so it comes in like this. And there again you would just get it flush in both ends. <clears throat> and after that, then you, this is tightened up. That's done. The last, the next part is the focus track, and that is stored in this extra foam piece that occupies the bottom layer in the middle. And the way this works, it also slides right into the height adjuster. This is the height adjuster, the bottom part, up and down. This is the focus track, is the second part. And everything is set up so that this is right in the middle, about two centimeters on each side. So there's a number scale and you'll see 30 to 150, that's 120 millimeters. That's allowing this to be right in the center and then this is tightened up like so. Alright, that's the second level. And then the third level is the the lateral slider that allows you to go from right to left eye. <clears throat> and that fits right onto there and it tightens up here. Nice and snug. And uh, as you can see, it allows the camera to go between right and left eye. <clears throat> There's also a tension adjust right here that will uh, control how snug this mechanism is. So that's useful to know. That has a tension adjust, but generally it'll be around 35 on the scale where, where the camera will be focused on the iris. And each turn here is four millimeters, so you can cover most eyes within a couple of turns of the focusing dial here. And uh, so that is the five components of the chin rest. There is also a, a dust cover, so dust cover can cover it like so. <coughs> That's the right size to include the camera. So, because generally you don't really need to take it apart, you don't generally need to transport it. Um, but there are situations where it is needed in a more mobile setting, and that's what the carry case is for. Um, the next step, I think I'll show a little bit more on how to operate the Gen Rust and. Um, it's sent to be set up pretty close to for the camera to be mounted here and the eye, this is the eye line. Um, your first step is to adjust the chin cup so the person's eye is right there. And that's when everything is in its neutral setting, then the camera lens axis will be right there, 15.5 inches above the bottom show that here. <clears throat> so this point right here will be at 15.5 inches and uh, you can see this here and that is this is designed for uh, a, a three inch lens axis height here so but there's room for adjustment on the height of course for fine-tuning it that's what the lower component is for 
right here and you can see a scale of millimeter scale it's generally 20 millimeters will get the camera to be level and exactly here but the chen cup it will get you within a couple of millimeters so each click is a couple of millimeters so you just want to get the eye roughly centered there and then it will be using this height adjustment to make a fine tune getting the eye you want the pupil centered right in the field of view but that is how the camera is, uh, the chin rest is put together. Now while I have it here, I'm going to show how it is put away. So the first step <coughs> is to get the uh, carry case like this <coughs> in the foam. And what I would do is, uh, generally I would start with this component, just remove that and fit it right into the shape hole for it. And then, um, as, as I mentioned, you have the other four components. Three of them are the camera positioner. And this one is able to fit right in here <clears throat> into the foam there. It nestles together like that. That's the focusing track. And then the middle layer of foam goes on top, like so. And then the uh, height adjuster comes off. We just loosen that, slide it out like this. Again, it's going to be around 20 millimeters is the typical setting. Now that dial goes down so that this knob goes up. That goes right in here. And then uh, the third layer, the top layer of the foam, there's a cutout here for this <clears throat> and a big cutout for the tabletop base. And I always uh, generally put it in the same way like so. That fits right in there. And then the lateral slide, I put this into the middle position so it should be centered and I like to point the knob downwards. This is the bottom of the carry case where the heavier components are. And this goes right in there, like so. And then uh, you don't really need to add anything else, although I do have uh, the selfie monitor here. This unit fits right in there. And if you are traveling, you you probably don't really need maybe maybe the cotton tipped applicators and this may or may not prove useful the the uh, occluder and if you're traveling you may not need the dust cover although if you're doing a show or something like that it's a good idea to have that and uh, in the camera in the carry case is also the uh, directions for setting everything up. And that can go in here as well. And so that is the complete system uh, for the chin rest. <clears throat>